Hey guys, Jeremy Miner here. Today we're gonna talk about what questions do you need to ask to go under the surface with your prospects and have them tell you what's really going on rather than shutting you down. Now, let me give you some more examples of what are called in EPQ clarifying and probing questions that need to be asked. These are very important to get your prospect to go under the surface with their answers and tell you what's really going on in their world. Like what problems do they really have and what's causing the problems, the root cause. These questions also help you clarify what your prospect is saying so you uncover the true meaning. They also help you probe deeper to pull out your potential customer's emotions, which psychologically gets them to want to change their situation now with you, which builds urgency rather than them waiting down the road. These questions have some of the most persuasive powers you will ever ask, and they're so simple to ask. How about this one? This is a simple one. John, when you say, how do you mean by that? Or how do you mean exactly? Now, if the prospect says they're stressed, you simply can just repeat back that word, stressed. Or if they said they're frustrated, you could say frustrated. Or if they said, I'm annoyed. How do you mean by annoyed or annoyed? Just repeating that one word is called a probing statement. You just repeat back that one emotional word and watch how they open up. I want you to do that today and see how they respond to that. Or you can say it like this. When you say stress, how, how do you mean exactly? Or, or what do you mean by stress? Okay, you could reword it this way. How long has that been going on for? So when they tell you a problem, how long has that been going on for? Oh, for three years, prospect says. This question gets them to relive the pain in their mind of how long it's been happening to them. So this stress that you've had the last three years, has that, has that had an impact on you? See that question? Notice how I paused there when I said impact on you. Why do we do that from there? Because it causes them to think deeper about that question rather than just throwing out a knee-jerk reaction. Let them answer, oh yeah, you have no idea, okay? Then you're gonna ask this question. Well, well hold on, in, in, in what way though? Okay, that helps them relive more pain and clarify that pain in their own mind. Here are a few more examples of any PQ clarifying and probing questions to ask that will work for any industry, any product, service, it does not matter. We train hundreds of industries at this point. John, what's causing this to happen? Or James, what's prompting you to look into changing this now though? Or Earl, can I ask what originally led you to this decision in the first place? Or Amy, why so important to you now though? Or Cindy, can you be more specific? Or give me an example, what do you mean by that? Here's another way. Tell me what's driving the need to change your situation now? Or how about this? Can you walk me through the steps that led you to this conclusion though? How about this one? What would it mean for you to be able to solve this problem? How about this one? What's in it for you to implement this for your company though? Now if you sold B2B, this would be an excellent question. What's in it for you to implement this for the company though? You see, that question helps you find out what's behind this person's why and what it's gonna do for them to bring you in to solve these problems in the company. It brings out their emotions. Let me give you another example and I'm just gonna role play with myself. Prospect says, you know, we've been, we've been trying to get both of these projects off the ground for months now. You would ask, hold on, you, you mentioned you've been trying. What hasn't worked for you so far? You see, trying is the key word there. That word represents a human feeling, a frustration about not being able to accomplish the goal. That's your golden opportunity to bring out the prospect's problems to the surface of his or her mind, to have them relive the pain and their feelings, and then that triggers them to be open to your solution to solve that pain. Do you see how that works? Okay, we just went over what questions to ask to go under the surface with your prospects and have them tell you what's really going on, the truth. That is your tip for the day.